Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a little flat rate box from The Beard of Doom. Links down below, he's got a YouTube channel, he's on Instagram, uh, I believe he's just now releasing his own knife, so you should definitely keep tabs on this man. He also was the one that donated Jesus, if you've seen Jesus, future me, picture of Jesus, thank you so much. But uh, this is, uh, I think this is something wild, knowing it's coming from him, but there's only one way to find out. That's to bust it open, right now. That's right, Beard of Doom. Brother Beard, thank you so much. We're gonna use, what are we gonna use? What are we gonna use? Uh, why not? Let's use the uh, ABW Model 1 Warning. In Magna Cut and Ultim. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, you gotta love it. Affordable? American made? What? Hello? Dude, Beard, you're one of those guys that tapes stuff to the inside of the box. When? Why did this become a thing? What is this? You just do this to bother me? God bless. Nothing left in there. Dude. Solid shot. Okay. All right. Heavily protected. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> it's two of them. It's two of them. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh God, future me. Uh, the the Athron. Why does that feel wrong? I thought it was the Archon. Athron. The Reich knives. Athron. Not one, but two Reich knives. Athron. Ever since this came out. I've been dying to check it out. I just, it's not something I would ever carry. It's not the, it's not something I want in my permanent collection, but I just, I love Reich, and I love the fact that they're so insane that they just, they don't care. They don't care if, if you send them a design, no matter how insane it is, they're gonna make it, or at least they're gonna try. And I think this is like the poster child for that business model, you know what I mean? So we have two, let's just work on the purple one here. We have purple and black. I'm assuming this is modded, polished, purple anodized titanium it's a full titanium build full titanium frame lock and it is just insane dude what in the hell <laughs> everything about it all the milling this little the pocketing the milling the hardware looks what like what's going on with the hardware it is an alien's pocket knife this is not made for human hands for human use this is far beyond anything we could possibly imagine or conjure up in our brains. Wild, the backspacer. Look at the detail. It's like a skeletal spine kind of situation. Speed holes, tiny speed holes. Uh, I know this maker's mark. Same guy that did the Cybertrix, Future Me. What's his name? Thank you very much. It's nuts. It's nuts. Thumb studs, front flipper looks like same story here's the plain one this one's the one you can buy full titanium build stone wash or bead blasted blue polished anno backspacer that same crazy backspacer it's just nuts like what's going on with the pivot what is this what is this for <laughs> what is this do <laughs> it's wild a surprisingly thin pocket clip it's funny in pictures and knowing reich knife I assumed it was much bigger. It's really not that big overall. It's smaller than a pair of three. Uh, Spider Coat pair of three in size comparison. It's smaller in tactile knife coat rock wall. About rock wall size. It's pair of three girth rock wall length. Does that make sense? I, you know, it's just insane. I just assumed it being right that it was going to be massive. It's not. It's really not. Um, okay, yeah. Well, let's flick it open. Well, that didn't work so well. There it is. Okay, D10 could use some work. Ah, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this blade? It's like the legal definition of out of this world. Forever Steel. That's the name. Thank you so much. Look at the look at the si the blade stock. Is like a quarter inch thick, but the blade height is like maybe an inch. Absurd deep hollow grind here. Flat. So it's technically a recurved compound ground Tonto harpoon. Dude, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I thought I was emotionally prepared for this unboxing. I'm not. 
I'm not. Uh, by the way, the thumb studs uh, also double as external blade stops. Nice. Super secure. Super solid. Wild, dude. Wild. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Open size comparison real quick before we get too wild. Spyderco Pair 3. Yeah, like I said. Uh, well, it's funny. It's smaller than the Pair 3 handle-wise, but it's a little bit longer opened up. Uh, Tacton Ivco Rockwell, a little bit longer. So it's bigger than both open, which means we have a great blade-to-handle ratio. But closed up, it's a little chody little guy. Wild. Ergos in hand. All this insanity. Ergos, I gotta tell you. Wait, are these two totally different knives? These are different. I'm confused. Type A, Type B. Okay, they did it just like the Cybertrix. So we have two different blade styles. So this one, the harpoon's way out front. This one, the harpoon's a little closer. Small. Uh, this one's got, uh, you got a flick and groove in thumb studs. This one's got an actual flicking hole. So we have two different models here. I'm just now realizing this. Uh, okay, all right. Handle's about the same. It's just the blade where things are a little different. All right, well, let's keep playing with the OG here, the uh, Type A. Uh, Ergo's in hand. Um, a small handle, but easy four-finger grip, locked in. And all things considered, even with all that insane milling and drilling and all kinds of craziness going on, it feels nice in the hand. Nice jimping here right in the middle of the blade, so choke up, locked in, feels good. Uh, we don't have a finger choil, but we have a sharpening choil. You can kind of choke up, nestle in, in that pin, get nestled into that pin, that feels fine. Pinch grip! You know what? 85, 90. 90. I'll give it a 90% of the day. That is locked in. I'm locked in on the pinch grip. Uh, is there a difference in ergos? This one, like I said, the only difference is the, the poon's a little further back. So, if anything, the, the Type B version is a, is less comfortable. Because the, the poon's also hooked. You know? And that's very stabby pointy for my little thumb. But I still feel locked in, you know? Pinch grip. Again, I honestly, ergos between the two, I'm taking the A blade, not the B blade. Ugh, oh, God, it's so crazy. It's so wild. Uh, so, yeah, ergos are solid. Action on this guy. Running on ceramic bearings. Dude, something's wrong with this one? Hold on. Let me get my, my bit driver real quick. This just feels way over-tightened. It is, even though it... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell? It just feels way over tightened on the uh, the A side here. So let's judge it on the B side. Thumb flick, it's you know it's awkward. Reverse flick, a little bit awkward. Detent could be better. See, missed it. I missed it. Front flipper, yeah, front flipper works fine. Nice and smooth on those bearings. I don't know what's going on with this one, beard, but it feels like you have just cranked down on that pivot and the bearings are struggling to do their job. You know what I'm talking about when you have an over-tightened pivot on a bearing knife? It just it's it's just grindy and gritty. It's really bad. This one's very nice and smooth. And I well, I'm assuming based on the Dingleberry, which I hate, and the modification, this is the one you're carrying the most. But, you know, all things considered, it's fine. It you know, it's not the most pleasant to actuate, I have to be honest with you. But it's so insane that I don't really care. Front flipper works great. Front flipper's the easiest actuation method. Ergos are nothing, or uh, uh, the acoustics are nothing crazy. Nothing too, you know. Nothing special. It makes a noise. <laughs> as opposed to not making a noise. Jesus Christ. I want to cut something with these so bad. Um, ow! Yeah, okay, yeah. It's awkward. It's just, there's so many sharp, pointy bits. It's awkward. It's awkward as shit. By the way, while I grab the phone book, future me, how much are these? I'm assuming the same price, minus the modification work. What, what kind of price? Like, $350, $399. The Cybertrix was $399, so I'm assuming these are around that same price point. Which, when you consider how much manufacturing time went into making these, I kind of get it. But let me grab the phone book. Uh, uh, let's see if these things will cut. M390 on the blade steel. Uh, I believe, let's start with the Type A, which again, the Atheron Type A sounds like a disease. You know, not great. And I could have told you that. We're talking quarter inch thick blade stock. Tiny little, sh I mean, it's a deep, thin hollow grind, but as far as cutting performance goes, that is not a slicey blade. It works, but, uh, you know, it could be better. Let me try this one. Let me try the Type B. So the Type B, 
It's the same cutting edge. Same cutting edge. So there's no real difference there. I gotta tell you, not impressed. And that's, you know, I think what's happened here is they've just gone too crazy. There's a certain level of crazy you can go to in Night Design without losing performance. And this is a showpiece. This is a conver... Yeah, I can't even... This is a conversation piece. This is not a tool. This is this is insanity. So I get, you know, I get the draw. I've always been interested in checking one out. But, you know, now that I have, I'm glad I personally didn't buy one. But I will leave links down below. It doesn't cut that great. I gotta be honest, it just doesn't. Uh, and that's amazing because Reich Knife does incredible work. And, you know, they're honestly probably one of the only companies that could pull something like this off. So kudos to them for just saying sure screw it we'll make your wild alien knife uh links down below for this if you want to check it out for yourself links to beard of doom as well thank you beard love you man uh, but that is it the reich knife forever steel athron a and b i think i don't know future me good luck but uh that is it leave a like leave a comment down below let me know what you think subscribe to the channel become a channel member patreon member hit me up on instagram tiktok and threads but that is it uh wow you know we'll talk about these on live streams i need a nap that's wild something else. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye now. <laughs>